for book one, proposition number 34 of Euclid's Elements and parallelogramic areas, the opposite sides and angles are equal to one another and the diameter bisects the areas. So basically what this means is that if we have some parallelogram, A, B, C, D in this case, and we know that A, B, and C, D are parallel and B, D and A, C are parallel with each other, what we're trying to prove is that the opposite sides and opposite angles are equal to each other. So in other words, that AB and CD would be equal to each other, and that AC and BD would be equal to each other, but also that this angle five is equal to angle six, and that this angle here is equal to this angle here. But the final thing we're trying to prove is that this line BC cuts the area of this parallelogram in half. So to start this proof, let's first use book one, proposition number 29, which says that if we have two parallel lines, in this case A, B, and C, D, and some transversal, this line BC cutting across of it, then the alternate angles are equal to each other. So angle one and angle three are equal, so we can write that. And also, due to this same proposition, we can now look at sides AC and BD since they're parallel, but they also have this line BC cutting across it as a transversal. So that implies that this angle two is equal to this angle four. So angle two is equal to angle four. And now notice that these two triangles, ACB and DBC, they are equal because they share this side in common and then the angles on either side of that shared side are equal as well, respectively. So we essentially have the angle side angle theorem here, which is book one, proposition number 26. So triangle A, C, B is equal to triangle DBC. And because these two triangles are exactly equal to each other, we know that this parallelogram is split exactly in half by this line BC. So that proves one part of this proposition. But now we just need to show that opposite sides and opposite angles are equal, which is very simple to do because we've already proven that this triangle and this triangle are equal to each other. So now we just have to match up corresponding sides. So CD matches up with AB. So let's write these down, that CD and AB are equal to each other. And also BD and AC are equal. BD equals AC, and the corresponding angles in these triangles are equal as well. So this angle five is equal to angle six. So angle five equals angle six. So all we have to do now is show that this angle ABD, this angle here, is equal to this angle ACD. And we can do this by starting with this relationship here that angle one is equal to angle three and just add angle four to each side. And we could do that because of common notion number two. So angle one plus angle four is equal to angle three plus angle four, but angle four is equal to angle two. So really we can write that this is angle three plus angle two. So we have that angle two plus angle three is equal to angle one plus angle four. So that concludes our proof that in a parallelogram, the opposite sides and opposite angles are equal to each other and that this line BC that cuts across the center of it cuts the parallelogram in half. So we can end with QED.